All right, we are back on our main sorceress continuing here. It's time to fight the boss, Gaieth, the Goblin Chief. As you can see, there are other people here fighting. Um, level 18 now. I figured out the pets. There they are. They're following me around, collecting me some items. Um, not much has changed. Uh, we did get this Aswell amulet, which I believe I got in the beta anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I think this is about as kitted out as I've been. Um, we have more money than 15000 I sold some stuff and whatnot. Uh, the pets don't seem to eat too much, need too much food. They're still at 60% um, health or food or whatever you want to call it. Uh, looks like you can actually level up the pets. Uh, they're level 1 right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, get this cracking. This is really weird. I have like this light over here, and it's like just, it was just hitting my hat right. It was like reflecting. It was reflecting down into like my eye. Weird. Okay. Goblin Chief Summon Scroll. Here we go. I uh, adjusted the audio, so that should be better as well. It won't be as loud. Just let me know, obviously, um, if you guys think it needs to be louder or quieter. Because it was pretty loud in the last episode. This is really bothering me. It's like right in my blind spot. Okay, get out of that menu. We have an actual challenge this time. This guy is not going to be like a uh, old red nose and not be back or do anything. Might have to move that light. What is he doing? My dude, what are you doing? Are you doing an AoE attack? Oh, he's, he's, he's morphing. I forgot he morphed into this weird thing. Wow, they're still just... Wow. You guys are still just cheeks. Just absolute destruction. Yeah, I'm gonna just turn this light a little bit. There we go. Okay. Okay, I was going to say, I thought he was getting up for like a stage three, but he, alas, is not. Okay, I guess I have to go turn this back into someone else. This is actually a pretty decent spot to farm. Um, so I moved my yes. camera also, so my camera is no longer top left where it's blocking stuff. It's yes. bottom right. But we had about 28% when I started farming these guys right now. I'm already up to 34. I mean, it's pretty good. I farmed them for a percent and a half or something like that. Or a level and a half. But yeah, they're pretty good. And with the pets, I get all my loot. So that's really nice. I don't have to worry about that. But you get, like, these cauldron destructions in here. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty good place to farm. You can see it's been, like, two minutes. And I'm up like, you know, like, 15%. Obviously, the bigger guys obviously give you a hefty amount more experience. The small guys don't do too bad. So yeah, it's a pretty good place to... Uh, and they respawn on a little bit of a timer. Uh, the respawn's a little bit slower than I would like, but it's still not a bad spot right here to form up. And there's not too many people here, so you're not fighting like 20 people for kills. There's just the people that come here to do the main story quest. And then pretty much all of them leave. Not many people, like, hang around here and farm. And most of them actually farm down there. Like, in the... In the like, over there in that area. They don't farm here, where I'm farming. And this right here is, like, the best place to farm. It took me about, I don't know, I'd say, like, 15 minutes to farm a level and a half. So if you really wanted to sit here and farm levels, you really did. But let's go turn this quest in. Alright, Emma Bartali. Complete our Gaieth quest. And we have to go pick fly wildflowers at the ruins. So yeah, we'll just play for a little bit here. Um, I'll try to get on this character. I'll at least show all the bosses, since this will be my main character. Um, for now, I'll just plan to show all the bosses. And other than that, I'm going to farm as my leisure. And uh, I will, you know, show what I show. On the other character, like we've already talked about, I will show everything. Dawn of the Ruins. 
Wildflower. Okay, that was it. Nice. Uh, what's our... Oh my gosh, okay. Pull, open the quest menu back up. There we go. Complete that one, so we get an item storage, so that's nice. Uh, ch -ch -ch quests. I like that. Let's go into our inventory. Pop this. That's about it. Yeah. Okay, so now we need to go back. Turn this in. I'm looking for, like, a really good spot to farm. Um, that spot back there was good, but I feel like there's probably better, so that's, yeah, what, that's yeah. what I'm kind of waiting for. I don't know if I want to start an archer or do anything like that. It wasn't my favorite. I mean, I kind of liked it, but I always thought the daggers were a better weapon overall than the... Uh, than the, uh, the bow and arrow, which is not really what I want to be the case. Yeah. Uh, was an archer main. The only other real game like this that I played um, is Conqueror Online. That's about the main one that I played. I played some other stuff, but not seriously. I played Conqueror seriously when I was like a kid. Um, but now, and I loved my archer, but that played a whole heck of a lot different than the archer in this game. All right, Beetle. Let's complete this quest. Wait! I'll surrender! I'll surrender! Accept the quest. Have you discovered Awas Hill? This place connects from there. All right, so we need to defeat goblins, and then we need to find Emma Bartali at the cave. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Volunteer. Helping others is more fun than I thought. Achieve 10 contribution points. Nice. Well, I don't actually know where this is trying to take me. I just went in here. I don't actually know if this is correct. I don't think it is. Because if I look at the thing, it, kinda, it wants me to leave. Is this going to damage me? Yeah, it did. Okay, well, pop a heal. Hold. Where am I supposed to go right now? I think it's on the other side of this castle, so let me go this way. It's just tragic I'm getting lost. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. I have... Oh my gosh, these guys do so much damage. Oh my gosh, they do so much damage. Oh my gosh. Stop it. They deal so much damage. Okay, okay, we killed a few. Let's go, let's go. That's about enough of that. Those guys do a crap load of damage. So we can pop another heal. Those are just the cheap little heals. I'm just going to use them up while I have them and while the game is spitting them out before I uh, switch it around and get better uh, level up or better healing items. The Strangling Stranger. Ooh, we got a ring out of that. That's nice. I don't have a ring yet. Does she have another quest for us? No. Okay, so I don't actually have a ring equipped, I don't believe. Nope. Still have another ring slot. I don't think I have any... Do I have boots equipped? I didn't know what? Um, ding? Why can't I equip these? Oh, I guess it's just a sellable item. It's not a... Got another one of these. Bunch of stuff that's not better than the stuff I'm wearing. Sweet. All right, Vengeful Spirit. Huh. Oh. Wait, hold on, what? The Lost Records of Crone. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so I need, so I can either burn the tents of Crone Castle, distract the soldiers, recover the documents from the commander occupying Crone Castle, or cutting through, which is defeating goblins. I'm pretty much just grabbing every quest I can do and doing them, um, and worrying about story elements later on in, uh, in the Triss playthrough. Because I'm sure it's going to be a while before we get characters, so I think I can take my time with the Triss. That's going to be... that. I'm going to try my absolute hardest to get that up daily. Um, can I... How do I burn these? How do I burn these? Burn the... Yeah, I guess that's probably... That's probably not where I need to burn. But those are... These are the enemies that have the tents set up. But I guess that's probably not the tents in particular that I need to burn. guys do so much freaking damage. I should probably do the level 13 quest first, but screw it. Tent on fire. Recover the documents from the commander. Alright, commander, let's party. I need the documents from you. Come here. Hey, buddy. Oh, I just talked to you? Hello. Okay. Okay, quest menu. Hmm. I can't complete it with him, so wasn't one Okay, there we go. It popped up finally. It wasn't popping up to tell me where to take this back to. It's getting slightly worried. The run in this game looks so awkward sometimes. Oh, shit, yeah, shake those hands back and forth. But yeah, I haven't quite full-fledged out the upload schedule yet, but uh, I'll do my best to figure that all out here soon. All right. Quest completed. Oops, she's got another quest for us. Eileen. Now every time I hear the name Eileen, I think of Eileen the Crow from uh, Dark from Bloodborne. So I need to talk to Eileen. Is Eileen like right here? Oh, she is. She's right here. Okay. What'd you hear? Because I was worried about Emma. I'm glad to know that Emma's doing fine. Oh, but now you have a quest for me. So I need to talk to her about the records. Okay, I can complete that already. Right. Okay, well. Um, meet Beetle at the location given to you by Eileen. Sweet. Okay. I kind of want to do... Let's do the Goblin one first. That's a lower level... Oh, it's a repeat quest. Okay, we don't need to do that. It's a repeat quest. I mean, I'll redo it eventually, but it's a repeat quest. I don't really need to mess with that right now. I'm wondering how hard... There's got to be a stage in this where it gets harder to level up. Oh, this is that really confusing part where the, like, the mapping is not good. I hope they fix that because the mapping on this part was, like, terrible. It was like, oh, it's over here and it's over here. All right, Beetle. Let's do this. Beetle is pointing at a section of the fallen wall. Alright, Beetle, can we... Beetle, what do you... Fine, Beetle, I'm just gonna go without you. Forget you, Beetle. I'm going. How hard are these guys to kill? How much... Ex Ow! Get up, get up, get up, get up. What is this? Stop, stop it, bro. Wow, you eat so much damage. Now I got up facing the wrong direction. Stop it with your knock. Oh my gosh, they... Holy crap, this guy is... Taking so much damage. That is low-key kind of insane. Wow. Yeah, see, this is the one where, like, the tracking wants you to go here, and then it wants you to go somewhere else, and then... It's just, like, weird tracking. Okay, 
Okay, so it completes this quest. And then Crone Altar. Here's the quest. We get mem a memorial service for the fallen. Here we go. Ooh, loading screen. I think this just this just takes you up top, right? It takes you up top, and then this is where the tracking gets all sorts of goofy because it wants you to it like thinks you need to go back down, but you don't actually need to go back down. You need to go up to the one spot. It's just way too stupid tracking. I'm gonna see if turning off this TV helps. It's still like right in my eye. It's really weird. Okay, so let's see here. I gotta remember how to do this. Is it? It's an item. I don't want the helmet on. Does this actually put the helmet on me? Okay, good. It doesn't. Sweet. I don't want to see that helmet. Okay, so now we use the scroll right here. Yeah, there we go. Because if you map, if you do the mapping, it will show you like. Um, it shows you, like, you need to go back down, and then it, like, warps you back up here. It's, it's like an endless loop of stupidity. It took me, like, ten minutes in the beta to figure that out. If you all watched my beta videos, you remembered that. Okay, those are better gloves. Okay, so quest is complete. Feels as if the angry spirits have finally found peace. You must use the item. Okay, we already did that. Oh, look at that. Look at all that new crap. We Oh, we only get one. I think I'm going to take the chest. I'm going to take the chest piece. New quest. The disappearance of a vengeful spirit. And we're back into another loading screen. But actually had a friend hop on. Uh, Xbox hadn't been on it for like forever. So I, I got a little distracted from my Black Desert playing time. Um, I think I showed you guys it was like 9 o'clock in the morning. It's now... Hold on, let me get all my notifications uh. off of here. Okay, or or not. Phone, hello? It's like 5.09 now in the, in the afternoon. So I've not gotten to play this as much as I've wanted to, but, you know, shit happens. Let's complete that quest. Oh, good. You gotta eat. Oh, this is the just get get out. Secure an escape route. Okay. Alright, let's put on our armor. Ooh, how much better is it? Ooh, it's like double as good. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Let's clear this way out. We gotta secure dealing with forces occupied. We gotta kill six people. Yeah! Yeah! Which actually is harder than it sounds, because these things yeah. are insane. Yeah. Right, there's one. What? What the? Hello? My dude is invisible. Okay. I, I don't. I'm not. I guess I'm not gonna mess with you. Hello, enemies. Please. Here we go. Here's a scout over here. Let's just go get this guy. Come here. This will get us two down. Yeah, there's two. Two out of six. Who is up here? Who are you? Beetle. Oh, look. Beetle's up here. Be Beetle caught up. Only killed two people. I feel like normally you have like five people dead by the time you get here. Ah, here we go. Hello, rookie. Get sliced and diced up, buddy. Die, rookie! You're supposed to be a rookie. You're supposed to be easy. How are you still alive? Okay. We're gonna get close to the level 19. There's also these nice level up items. I'll show you. Let's see here. Ooh, what was it on? What's it under? What's it under? Yeah, here we go. So there's these goals um, for getting difficult. Oh, they added a little 55 goal. It was just level 50. They added a 55 goal. And 
then all of these different gatherers and fisher, all the different kind of side stuff. There's timed events, play seven days and earn loyalty points. Oh, well, that's how you earn the loyalty points. You are play 500 days? 500? Bruh. 500? There's my one completed one. Ooh. Claim that. Oh, I never claimed my level 10. I have to select a reward. What's the difference here? So this is Dim Magical Crystal Gathering Fishing. Processing and training. I'm gonna take the fishing, why not? Okay, let's claim it. Obtained a skill point in fishing and some milk tea. Hello, buddy? Hey, stop it. Stop running away. I need to kill three more of you, so I can't have you guys running away from me. Who knew a scout could be so beefy? Who knew a scout could be such a beefy boy? Man, I just love the... I love the fighting with this character. Ah, here we go. Here's my last kill I need. Hit him with the long range. Ooh. 2v1. Come get it, buddy. Level 19. Beautiful. And... Um, I climb up this? Really, guys? Can you... Hey! Stop! Stop it! Okay, how do I get out of here? It's like a maze of death. Looks like everybody just... You know, like, everything was getting destroyed, and then, right here, everybody just, like, ran out. Everybody's just like, yeah, let's just get the F out of here. Oh, I guess I went through- okay, hold on, let me just follow the tracking, let me- Let me play this smart, just follow the tracking, go where the game wants me to go. So, trying to- trying to take shortcuts that clearly don't work. But yeah, on this character, just all about the action. If I can get... I just want to push the action and do quests. I do like these types of games because I can do that. I can have one character where I'm just going. I'm just pushing through. If I want to fight, I can fight and get all the action that I want. Uh, and then I have another character to sit through the cutscenes and enjoy the cutscenes and enjoy reading the dialogues and all that different stuff at my own pace. Beetle, can we, what are you doing just sitting here? Beetle, you're killing me. Oh, it's because I... Really, Beetle? And now I'm stuck. Really? I'm, oh my gosh. This, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, this game. <laughs> and it's like little bugs like that. Like, getting just caught. Okay. Guess we gotta kill more of you. Hey. One rookie. I need two more rookies and a, a scout. I don't care about you. Here we go. Senior soldier, come here. Okay, so there's the senior soldier down. I just need two more. Need two more rookies. You're a senior, but whatever, I'll kill you. I'll get the experience. See, these guys are like too tough for the like, minimal amount of reward they give you. They give you like almost 3% experience, which which sounds good in retrospect, but it's still not good for like the amount of like damage you gotta put out to kill them. Yeah! Okay, two rookies down. Here's our other rookie over here in the corner. There we go. Rookies are done. So now I gotta go back. Or er, actually, once we go forward this time, nice. Let's go back out this way.
and all the way back to turn the quest in. We'll see what the next quest is. I might call it here and just grind it till we get to the next boss, and then I'll I'll come I'll come back and hit you guys with another video. Wait! I'll surrender! I'll surrender! Cron Castle is a dangerous place. I'm speaking the truth. Okay. Are you skilled at hunting? I heard that there are many weapons useful against goblins. So I need to meet with Emma Bartali. So let's head back and meet with Emma. Do, do, do. I think I've only fought one. I remember the other boss. I can't remember what he was, but I remember we fought that. And that was kind of the end of my time in the beta was fighting that boss. I don't know how much further you could go in the beta. I didn't, like, max out the beta or anything. I wish I would have, but, yeah, I, I... The videos that I make made were pretty much all the time I spent in the beta. I tested out Witch. What did I test out? I tested out Witch, and I tested out the uh, Archer. That's about all I did in the beta. So, uh, Beetle said Emma returned to Velia. Sweet. And she's gonna give me more armor. I think, hold on, hold on, before I complete that, I think I need the gloves, and I need the gloves, I'm pretty sure. It's either, oh no, I need the helmets, that helmet is trash. Helmet or shoes, the shoes are also trash. I'm gonna take the shoes, I think. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna take the shoes. Thank you, onward to New Horizons. So now I need to go talk to Igor Bartali. About a horse. Okay, sweet. We can get a horse finally. Um, there's the shoes for better armor there. Okay, so now we have some money to sell. Or we have we have some money to sell. We have some items to sell. Our inventory is not that full, so I don't, I don't think I need to worry about it yet. I guess Igor was right in here. No, not Emma. Igor. There we go. Oh, there was a time when I dreamed of being a great adventurer. I ended up returning the back here. Horse. I must admit that I regret it. Okay, so we got some HP potions. We got... So we need to now go talk to Lorenzo. Uh, I think this is finally when I can get my other horse out of here. I think I have that tier 5 horse or whatever. Yeah. Lorenzo Murray. You have found the right place if you're looking to check in horses am, and donkeys. You should be aware that you can only ride one mount at a wow, time. Oh, really? Th thanks, buddy. You can either capture or directly buy horses. Uh, Lorenzo said that you should befriend Kirkley, who will find along the road a Heidel. Okay. So register. Let's register this horse. Um. Uh. uh I'm trying to think. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, my cousin has horses, but I'm not really that close with my with that cousin that owns the horses. I don't even know her horses' names, but um, kind of like Darcy, kind of like Darcy. There was a there was a kid I worked with whose name was Darcy. He was, he was pretty sweet, so we'll name it Darcy. Okay, can I? I can't bring Roach out yet. That's a big. That's the big sad. That is the. That's the big sad. Can't use my. Use my horse or my. All right, we're stuck with Darcy. It's fine. Um, I'm not gonna sell anything yet. We'll still we'll deal with that later. But uh, yeah, okay, we got our horse. Um, find a party pearl shop. How do I get my? I forget how to get my horse out. How do I? I don't know what this does, but how do I? Oh, oh! Uh. I didn't know that. So if you press down the right stick, it'll auto track you. It just auto takes. Oh, that's sweet. I did not know that. Should probably know that, but I didn't. Um, okay. Um, this sounds really dumb that I don't know how to call my horse. How do you call your horse? Yeah. 
Oh, shh. Okay. Um. Horse. How do I, how do I call my horse? This is sad. This is, this is tragic. Oh, also, um, in the mail, this was the stuff you got for the server maintenance today. You got five milks. Five milk teas. They gave you GM's blessing for one hour. We'll take a look at that. I don't know what that is. And they gave you a sealed book of combat for one day, which I have 15 days of that, so I'm holding on to that. Um, so there's my 15 day one. Uh, where is the one day one? There's the one day. So that gives you the bonuses. GM's blessing for one hour. Combat XP. I'll probably save that to when I decide to. Actually, I guess it can't. It can't uh, overlap, so I don't actually want to use that yet. Um. So yeah, I think this is a good place to end it off for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. Uh, thanks for all the support on the first episode of uh, this Sorceress main uh, playthrough. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys also enjoy. I haven't recorded any of the Triss one yet, but I hope you guys enjoyed that one as well. Check it out if you enjoyed this. Mm. It'll be a little bit more um, in depth and thorough walkthrough playthrough of uh, of this. And so if you if you're if you're more into like the action, you don't need to hear like the cutscenes and all that different stuff. You just want to see see me play. This is probably for you, and the other ones probably if you want the story and you want uh, me to read dialogue and read all this different crap around that we can read that's probably for you but i hope you guys enjoyed i'll shut up we'll get out of here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace